Well, it arrived about three minutes ago. It's my Roadster add-on battery. Well, I'm gonna open it up and show you what we got. Okay, so here's what we got. Some keys. Looks like a optional base plate on the bottom. Looks like metal. We've got another charger, which is very nice. And let's see. It looks like it's a compatible charger. It's a uh, two amp output. And then we have a special torque wrench. Installation, which I imagine makes it harder to steal. And then we've got the battery itself, which I'm trying to get out. Very nice. It looks like it uh, connects with the uh, proper adapters. And it looks like there's a charging port there. And it's keyed for easy removal. So I will be taking this downstairs to where my bike is and uh, assembling it. Before I do that, I was looking to see what was on the battery and I noticed it's got a USB charging port. So that looks like I could use this battery as a extra battery to charge things. And this looks like the charging port here. Watertight. And, but I was looking to see if there was a way to tell how much the battery was charged. So I will unlock this. Oh, here on the end. Very good. On the end is a little light. Looks like low, medium, and high. I'm going to press it. Well, it's not, uh, maybe I'll plug it in. Give me a second here and I'll plug it in. So I've got the key here and this battery actually slides out. So it's got a mechanism in here and right there. And uh, 36 volt, seven amp hours. And I brought the charger here, so. I'm going to open up this port. Can't do everything one handed, but uh, I'll plug it in. Okay, now let's see what the charger says. I don't see any light. Ah. Charger does light up red. However, on here I don't see any indication on this bulb. So I'm going to let it charge for a few minutes. Very nice key operation here. That's what locks it in. Pull it away. It seems uh, fairly lightweight. And I imagine this just goes up into the underneath there to the controller. Okay. Well, I also found this adapter plate and I imagine that this will fit on top of there like this. And uh, this will probably connect to the bottle cage adapter. And the bolts will go right straight through here. However, they did not give me any nuts and bolts or screws, and I don't see uh, any instructions. So I'm going to head online and see if they've issued some instructions. Well, actually, I left it plugged in for a couple of minutes, and now there's flashing lights. So red must mean it's very low. 
So there is an indication of the battery level. Let me unplug the charger and see if the light still responds. Yes. So it's apparently very, very low in its state. So I'm going to recharge that and let it sit before I actually do the assembly. But this looks like it shouldn't take very much time at all. I'm just wondering what this adapter does and why we might need it. Because it just might replace what's down below there. And this is just bigger for more wires. I'll have to see when I disassemble the bike.